what is up my dudes and welcome back to the channel today i am bringing you guys quite an unconventional plane the me163 and if you don't know why it's unconventional it's because this plane doesn't have a regular propeller or jet engine it has a rocket motor see right there it says type rocket and personally in war thunder i feel like a lot of people don't like this plane simply because of its fuel load and let me tell you, um, this plane is one of my favorite planes in this game for a very good number of reasons. Um, it's quite maneuverable. Um, yes, its fuel load is pretty bad, but if you can manage that fuel load, it can actually last you um, the whole game, really. Uh, if you know how to manage that throttle and, you know, don't be too, uh, too willy-nilly with your, your precious seconds of fuel. Um, the cannons hit hard when they work. Uh, the Mark 108s, uh, if you don't know, I'm pretty sure most of you do. Um, they're not that great. The velocity isn't that good. Um, but when they work, they it takes usually one or two hits before the plane gets brought down. And so you are going to have to catch people in like in your turns and stuff. Um, you know, you're know, you going to have to bait them into dogfighting with you and stuff, which is where this plane really shines. And this plane has been around for quite some time. Um, I don't know if there's any of you who have been playing this game long enough to remember this, but back in the day, War Thunder used to have a ranking system on 1 through 20, and this plane sat at rank 18. And that's when I unlocked this plane years and years and years ago, and I loved this plane. I got hooked on this plane. And every now and then, I still come back to it and take it out, because it's just, you know, one of my old comfort planes, one of the first planes in this game that I really did. Uh, fall in love with also love this little propeller right here but i've rambled on way too long let's just jump into the games all right we're here on city in a full up here unfortunately see mig 17 there that's the i know who are we up against america britain italy and sweden so what i like to do in this plane is i like to sit in about 30 to 50 percent throttle um when i get to the battle space and since city is a pretty small map I'm just going to coast all the way in on 50% throttle, really save up my fuel for when I need it. Um, in maps where you have to take off, what I like to do is, of course, I'll take off, sit on full throttle until I have about four and a half minutes of fuel left. And then I'm going to increase throttle all the way until I have about five minutes of fuel left. That should leave me plenty. Anyway, until I have about four and a half minutes of fuel, then I'll cut throttle to about 30%. And then you just sit on 30% flying around until someone's dumb enough to try you. And then that's when you really want to, you know, open up with your throttle and stuff. Um, if you have to chase them down or need that for maneuverability or whatever, that's where it'll really come into, uh, really come into play there. <clears throat> no one's spotted just yet, but I expect that to not take very long, especially on City. I'm going to go ahead and cut throttle back to about 50% here. V57, first guy spotted. Uh, I feel bad for that guy, quite honestly. V57 in an up tier, that's, that's a rough one. It's got to be the B. I think the B is 8-0 or 8-3, and I think the A is 7-7. Nope. Shots were just too slow. There's the Mark 108's velocity just not coming in clutch there. Alright, let's kill throttle back again. Let's scale it back. What the fuck that building doing? There it goes. It sorted itself out. G91. Nope. Tried to take a quick little pot shot at him. Nothing. Ooh. Okay, that's an A4. Hello, Saber. Alright. Looks like we got ourselves quite the fair amount of people here. Oh, don't black out. Okay, the F-86A could be a little bit tough. He does have wing slats, but I am an ME-163, so I'm just going to come this way. If he would just open up the distance on me, he could outrun me here, but he's not doing that. Uh, and I have to be real sparing with my ammo, which kind of sucks, but, you know, only having 120 rounds will do that. Alright, is he going to try and get away? I'm going to go ahead and open up my throttle. 
See if I can't chase him down here. What's he doing? He's gonna try and go between these buildings. Tried to be cheeky there, get him between the buildings. Where do you think you're going? Come back here. I'm not done with you. Sparks! Critical hit! What do you mean? Mark on a wait's just not doing their job! Hey! Hey! How dare you? How dare you, sir? Alright, let's go ahead and get our engine back. This is not a spot that I want to find myself in. 163, what are you doing? 163, what are you doing? 163, what are you doing? Come on. That was weird. Never had that happen in my 163 before. This was way too slow, lost all control authority there for a second. I'm surprised that saber's still up and kicking. Alright, let's go and pay these guys a visit. Poopy train, I owe you. Okay, got a hit, nothing crazy. Kill assist on the saber. And destroyed him, because he crashed. Alright, I will take that. Alright, Javelin, Sab. Javelin's dead. Sab 105 up there in a B... A B25. A B25, okay. But yeah, look, I still have three minutes of fuel. Pretty low on ammo. Pretty hurt, so I should probably RTB, honestly. Scimitar down there. Hmm, I do have 34 rounds and three minutes of fuel left. I could... Let's go. Let's go see if we can't catch the scimitar. He does have afterburner, so this is going to be sketch. Oh, God. Okay. Well, he's getting chased down by a lot of people. All right. I am just going to try an RTB here. One kill, one assist. A panther, 16 miles. All right. Yep. Heading to the base. Now... I'm not sure why, and don't tell me because I don't want any hints, but this map looks vaguely familiar to me, and I can't quite put my finger on why. But we do have a B-57 down low, and a Javelin who is going head on with the Russian bombers who have collectively both said fuck your nonsense and tried to head on the, uh, the Javelin. Alright, let's actually see if we can't get this B-57. Wow! Nothing! Thanks, Mark 108s! Oh, shit. That's a javelin. Okay, well, I'm not gonna chase that guy. I won't catch that guy. B-57 is as good as gone, too. He just bombed all those bases. Javelin is tearing him up down there. Okay. Let's actually increase thought a little bit. <clears throat> F-84F up high, the Meteor, I still do have a lot of fuel, I can be a little bit more aggressive with it, CL-13, Javelin's dead, good for him, good for him, good for my team actually, alright, yeah, let's sit on about 80% throttle, got a lot of enemies over this way, alright, Let's kick it all the way up to 100. An F-82. No, Banshee. No. No. Leave me alone. Okay, well, he turned back around. Damn, those were, like, right in front of that guy. Alright, let's go this way. Banshee's sticking with me for now. Don't black out. Let's go back up. Dodge! Alright. <clears throat> this one's sticking with me. Open up our combat flaps. I always forget that this thing has flaps. 
Alright, and now let's just try and open up some distance on this guy. I want to try and chase down this one. He's turning back in. Damn. Just, just out of the way. Oh, where the fuck did you come from? Well, there goes my wingtip. That's quite unfortunate. My team fucking melted, dude. Wow, zero score. I think I'm gonna leave this one. Alright, we are here on Spain without the S. Uh, got a couple A4B spotted, F86As. So we are in an 8 7 game, it seems. That's okay, you know, we've been up to it all, um, all video. But I decided to leave in last match because even though the 163 is, you know, a lot of fun, it certainly isn't invincible and you definitely do need to stay cognizant of things around you. Hell yes, brother, I got a fucking bomber. I led right for once. Hell yeah, feels good, man. Okay. Anyway, yeah, you definitely can't get caught out on your own the way that I did. Um, this plane is maneuverable, but you will end up getting sent back to the hangar if you get a little bit too cocky with yourself. Alright. That guy's got the gun pods. Oh, God, brother. He's gonna try and do the same to me. No, he isn't. Okay, because he just got red topped. Okay. F9F and an F86A down low. Alright. Good lead on him as well. This crew, it's a base model crew. I love this plane to pieces, and I couldn't even be nice enough to expert the crew. Wow. Well, alright then, an F-80, what are you doing in here, sir? Did we get it down here to 7-7? Seven, seven? Hmm. That certainly would be interesting. There's the F-80, there's the F-86. Alright. A4B is continuing on, F86A is continuing on. Let's turn back around. I think I'm gonna expert this fucking crew. I love this plane. How do I not have an expert? That explains why I'm fucking blacking out all the time. Damn. Really can't see those uh, Meninka shows doing their thing uh, with the self destroying. That's pretty neat. Alright, well, he just got deleted by Rick the Door Technician and his ME163. Go ahead and throw out the Bravo. Alright, I am proud of my team here. Two kills. Two kills. So, got two and a half minutes of fuel left. F86A over there. They still have four guys left. So, quite a handful of people. I still have over half my ammo. Feels good, man. Genji is his name. Oh, it's a TU-4 falling from the stratosphere. Nice. Right, let's go ahead and get ourselves on an intercept course here. The F-86A will outrun me any day of the week. We need him to turn or do something, but it looks like the G-91 has him in the bag. Yep, he's donezo. Alright, they only got two guys left, aside from him. Um, I'm weighing my options. I have a minute 40 of gas. No, I'm just gonna RTB. Alright. Not bad at all for the ME163 this game. Not bad at all. Alright, we're here on Golan Heights, fighting the Americans, the Russians, and the Swedish. In what is our first down tier of the video, which is very nice. Full down tier to 7-0, it seems. So let's hope that we can take advantage of that. ME-262 is dogfighting with an IL-28 up there and losing. To the base. Oh, yeah, he he lost. That's, that. that's the uh, squadron vehicle, ME-262. I'm very surprised that the IL-28 actually won that engagement. That's quite scary. Alright, let's go ahead and kick the throttle all the way in from 50 to 100.
Hmm. Yeah, I don't trust that, buddy. Got ourselves an F2H. Coming straight this way, A28. Alright, let's go ahead and go up straight. Take throttle all the way in. Let's go straight vertical. Because why the hell not? Because I can. No one is challenging me. SU11. There's that Banshee. He's diving away. Let's kick our throttle back down to 50. J29 and an F80. There's that Banshee still. Alright, let's go ahead and get stuck in. I've been playing around quite a lot. Fifty percent throttle, we're looking good. A lot of red guys ahead of us right here. They hungry. Stick with the SU-11, don't lose control, I lost control. There's still a lot of red here. Alright, that's a dead SU-11. Alright. I'm not out of the woods yet. Okay, well that was, didn't really seem all that fair, but, alright, well there's an A28, he keeps wanting to try me, there he is, lost control, there's someone else coming in, yep, that's a problem, yep, I knew it, ah, damn, lost control, ended up getting taken out because of it, oh well, GG I guess, can't win them all. Alright my dudes, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed the little rocket plane that could. The ME163. Um, I've noticed that you either love this plane or you hate this plane. And after today, I still say that I love this plane. We had some hits and we had some misses, but you know, that's just how it goes when you're flying a plane with 6 minutes of fuel and 120 rounds of ammunition. You know, you're gonna have some, you're gonna have some hits and some misses. Um, but maybe you guys were struggling in your ME163 and you guys have picked up something interesting to uh, help you guys figure out how to fly your ME163 and do better in it. And if you guys don't have the ME163, hopefully I provided you guys with a little bit of entertainment. And I think that's where we're going to tie off today's video. But before I leave, I would like to say that um, I do stream on Twitch Tuesdays through Thursdays starting at 445 Central Time. Uh, do your own time conversions there and I do as well have a discord if you guys are so inclined to join would love to have you guys there link in the description for that bad boy down below as well and if you're interested in a squadron for War Thunder we are looking for members uh, Silent Centurions SICNT and yeah I hope to see you guys in game in the server or on the battlefield and I will see you guys in the next one peace out y'all